girls and boys how's it going so in this video we'll talk about what's hot in 2025 and i'll give you my take on these topics we'll start with the elephant in the room ai that everybody's talking about we'll talk about different connotations of ai then we'll go into the cloud devops area we'll talk about the job market and a whole lot of other things so stick around to the end because you could get the answers to the questions that you haven't even asked yet. If you're new here, my name is Savinder Puri and I've been in the build, release, DevOps, software engineering area for over 20 years. In these 20 years, I've had the opportunity to work in India, US, UK, Europe, South Africa. So I've kind of been around the room. You can check out my profile on LinkedIn to know more about me. Before I start with the video, one request to you, please subscribe to the channel. A lot of you watch the content, but forget to click on that subscribe button. Please do that. It takes a lot of effort to create these videos week after week. And one small gesture from you helps us and our team stay motivated quite a lot. So strap on your seat belts. Let's get started. So hot take number one, AI will replace all software. You've probably heard of the famous Satya Nadella interview, which happened about two weeks back. And that's where he made the statement, which has literally broken up the internet. He said, going forward, AI will replace all software applications. Uh, I'll put a link to the uh, interview below. It's a one hour, 24 minute interview, but it's a masterclass in AI and where the future is headed to. It talks about Satya Nadella's process and it's a must, must watch if you're worried about what the heck is happening in this space. Now, this statement was completely blown out of proportion and it's been moving around the internet quite a lot. I've watched the entire interview and I've broken it down. I'll do a detailed video on that sometime. But here's the exact question that was asked to Satya Nadella in almost these words. The question was, would it be possible that in an AI first product built from grounds up, the user would not have to know about underlying software technologies like an Excel, a CRM, because he would interact at a higher level through an AI level. And would this be possible because these underlying softwares are obfuscated from the user? Let me explain the question to you. What the guy is basically saying is, what do we use Excel for today? We use Excel for doing some calculations, for putting in some macros, uh, for doing some data analysis, that kind of a thing. But to be able to do that, you need to learn Excel. I'm not talking about, you know, fan simple things like, you know, putting things in a table and then adding them up, not like that. I'm talking about advanced, let's say things like the formulae, the advanced calculation, the macros, the functions of Excel, which is complicated. Now imagine a chat GPT type interface, which is internally talking to Excel and you provide it a bunch of data, let's say from uh, some uh, CSV files or some other dump, and then you have a chat interface where you can ask questions and internally it is using APIs of Excel and creating all their data analysis, data massaging, and it gives you the answer back. That is what they're talking about, where the user can consume these functionalities without having to write formulas. For example, you give it a bunch of data and you say, hey, uh, this is the sales data for let's say amazon.com for Asia Pacific. Tell me what are the top sold products in summer this year and sort it in categories of uh, Metro tier one, tier two, tier three. Now, to be able to do that, you would have to build up some formulae and all of that. AI can do that for you. So that's what Satya is talking about. My take on this, it is impending future. It will happen, but it's going to take some time. Yes, there will be some fancy new startups coming up in the Bay Area, but for these kind of things to be able to come up to the enterprise and to impact you, it's going to take some time. Hot take number two, AI will change the current software engineering rules. What does it mean? 
it means new roles will start popping up now like an llm researcher what does this guy do this guy knows which llm to use for what business problem statement where do you use gemini where do you use claude uh, where do you use azure open ai there are also a lot of proprietary llms which will start popping up in 2025 and this guy keeps a keen eye on the llms out there and can suggest the best llm for a business problem this is more a services kind of a job but it is popping up very fast now corollary of this job is an llm engineer what's an llm engineer which can make an llm work which can take an open source or a proprietary llm modify it fine tune it to your enterprise requirements and then make it work for you that's an llm engineer then a finops engineer now finops has been around for a while it's financial operations it came around when the cloud started popping up but why finops will become more important now is because of cost optimization requirements on the cloud on premise and especially as llms become more popular the use of gpus will become more popular and that stuff is still super costly so your finops engineer which will control your cost your spending will become very very important then of course there are the prompt engineers you've heard of them but prompt engineer for a specific domain will become very important what do i mean by that a guy who has domain knowledge of banking of retail of manufacturing and who can interact with llms because he or she knows the domain well all you have to do is to learn the llm stuff and marry your domain knowledge and llm and you could create fantastic prompts to make the llm work this is a completely new area which you can leverage if you have the domain knowledge then another big one which will come about is business process reengineering with ai you know stuff that we have seen about 10 15 years back there were business process reengineering specialist especially when lean and agile came in they would look at a business process and say these things are the bottleneck this is extra stuff this we can cut now imagine doing all of that but with the sprinkle of ai so i think this role will pick up quite a lot as large enterprises as large businesses stop start adopting ai so if you come from business process reengineering background learning llms and what they are doing could be a great pivot for your career okay next hot take reemergence of on premise now we have all read articles where enterprises are started to move back from the cloud to on premise and the reason for that because they have discovered that cloud is after all not so cheap also there are accident is losses what does that mean you know some guy forgot to shut down a bunch of pods or a bunch of vms on the cloud and you only know about it an year later or some guy passed through 20 gb of uh, two files on s3 and forgot about it or passed it through some data collection service that he was using and that that raked up a massive bill because to control things like this in a large enterprise very very difficult and also all applications are not really crowd friendly and enterprises are realizing that to move everything to cloud especially in 2025 with all the rules and regulations multi cloud all of that might not be the best way to go after all also another thing all this llm business when in adopted for large enterprise could also mean local llm setups which might not be cloud based for the cost and security reasons so my take on this if you are a traditional infrastructure person don't just you know rush towards the learning the cloud stay there pick up things of ai learn about these kind of things and if your organization is doing something around this that could be a good career pivot for you as well now this is my favorite hot take i need to start learning ai because all jobs will require the knowledge of ai so girls and boys most probably if you are watching this video you are not sitting in silicon valley you do not work for 
an organization that is doing bleeding edge work so for now i can probably assume that you do not need to run after ai what you do need to do is focus on the fundamentals especially if you're starting out in your career if you are in the college if you are in the 0 to 5 year category i am almost tempted to make the statement forget about ai why do i say that and what do i mean by that learn about ai keep the knowledge about ai but don't drop the fundamentals and start looking for ai courses and this and that why because at that stage of your career you need to know the foundation very well you need to know about networking you need to know about linux you need to know about your scripting languages you need to know and understand the functionings of docker control plane the fundamentals of things once you know them once you've worked on them for a couple of years then any amount of automation any amount of ai business you will be able to adapt very very well but if there is a block in these fundamentals then you'll have a big problem which is very difficult to solve later on in your career so especially if you're starting out i would say focus on the fundamentals if you're a little bit senior if your fundamentals are still not strong focus there ai will come to you rather than you having to go to ai okay next hot tech communication skills are important i just cannot express this more clearly let me explain why see to be able to interact with ai how are we doing it today through typing prompts right or explaining what we want to do today is it is written tomorrow it could be verbal what is common in all of this to be able to take an idea in your head and to be able to type it or to be able to say it effectively what's required to do all of this communication so with the emergence of ai as software becomes more democratized and more easy to build communication and the ability to express your ideas clearly succinctly and with the right wording becomes super critical so invest in your communication skill join classes like toastmasters etc for public speaking those are fantastic platforms i've also made a video on communication skills i'll put it in the comments have a look at that as well so the next hot tech spirituality will become more common now as you probably aware this one is very very close to my heart and here's the reason why i think this is absolutely true because as you start interacting more with machines and ai our human interaction is decreasing imagine a scenario today you have ordered something from a retail website right an amazon or somewhere earlier you would have gone to the shop looked at five things and ordered it from there today zero human interaction you just went on a website or picked up your phone ordered something the things gets delivered zero interaction again even with the courier guy maximum thank you that's all now imagine there is an issue with the product that you got you want to return it back 99% websites are automated today or at best it's a chatbot with ai the chatbot will get even more smarter how many times have you desperately looked for an option on the phone a dial 9 where you can talk to somebody and explain your problem reduction of human touch something that we crave all along and that's where spirituality will become even more important as we are more cut off from talking to each other from interacting with each other we need to connect with ourselves and with the universe at large and that is where spirituality perfectly fits in all right so this is all great you know i'm a little scared by this video what the heck am i supposed to do now give me a road map <laughs> all right here we go so i'll pick up some commentary from the satya nadella video that i mentioned if you take one thing away from this entire video go watch that interview it's a bloody master class but i've i've taken out some snippets from that and it also gives you a real road map of how you and i should think about ai here's what satya says he says we need to go from being know it alls to learn it alls what a beautiful statement and this statement is being made by satya nadella 
who's the CEO of Microsoft, one of the biggest corporations in the world. And he is saying, we need to go from learn it, from know it all to learn it all. Throughout the video, several times he has used these words. We had to go back to school for this. What he means is, as AI is advancing, they had to learn a lot of things. And this is Satya Nadella talking. So you and I definitely have to go back to school and learn things. So another statement that Satya Nadella made is have a growth mindset in everything that you do. And I think why he's saying this is because the fundamentals of the way we work, the tools and the technologies are changing so fast that you got to grow and look at a growth mindset with everything that we are learning these days. It's not about picking up a skill. It's not about doing a course anymore. It's not about listening to that bhaiya or didi who's trying to sell you the next course. Because it ain't about a course at all. Because the fundamental things are changing. The way we build software is changing. So the mediocrity where we would say, hey, yeah, yeah, it's fine. You know, life will go on. I will get my yearly increments and my job is safe. Girls and boys is gone. Wake up and smell the coffee. I've made a video on mediocrity trap and how to get out of it. Have a look at that as well. And the last thing which I absolutely love, focus on the mission and the culture and a specific set of products and do not worry about repeating it when talking to your folks. So on this channel, I talk about tech and spirituality and I will keep repeating that message for you guys. Have a good one. See you in the next one. Look at the videos on mediocrity and look at the videos of learning in public. I will link them here. Cheers. Bye.